hey guys welcome back again to this safe space of mine you're most welcome to my channel and may the peace of god the blessings of god be with you now and forevermore amen i welcome you all in the name of jesus christ of nazareth how are you doing hope you're well and safe do me a favor as you're coming in give this video a thumbs up so that other people can see it too and be blessed and also subscribe to this channel if you are a lover of prayer if you have a pressing need and you want god to set, step in into your life you want god to take control of your life you want god to take care of you specifically this channel is for you because on this channel we pray on this channel we seek the face and the intervention of god on this channel we ask god to take control of our lives we believe in possibility our motto on this channel is possibility because all things are possible through christ and as long as we pray in the name of jesus all things will be possible no matter how long that thing has stayed with you please ignore the noise outside no matter how long this thing has stayed with you no matter how long this problem has been in your life i believe in god and i believe in what god can do so briefly i want to welcome you all do me that favor subscribe to this channel and turn on your bell notification you know that little bell beside the subscription box turn it on the one that says all so that whenever i go live because i go live every day we even have an ongoing 21 days prayer with midnight prayer midnight prophetic warfare prayer so you can come and join us and also to be informed whenever i upload any video anytime i upload video you will get a notification and you will join us okay so what am i doing today i am simply elaborating on the salt bath i know a lot of people have a lot of questions about salt bath because on my whatsapp i get a lot of questions people are stranded they want to do it but they don't know exactly how to do it i have come i made a video about it but for more emphasis i am going to throw more light on it so quickly who is going to do a salt bath? Anybody that is suffering from unwholesomeness. Unwholesomeness could be barrier, barrenness, unfruitfulness, disfavor, rejection, bad luck. You have struggled and struggled. Every year you're still the same place. Nothing is happening to you. You don't ever have breakthrough. You are struggling with life so much is as if there's an evil force in your life is as if there's an evil coverage in your life is as if life is a um, life has rejected you all the things you've tried doing nothing is working you've been praying all the days all your years you've been praying and you're not getting breakthrough and also people that experience cobwebs you walk on the street cobwebs cover you cobwebs is a very dangerous significance if you are covered by cobwebs, you will not get any good thing in your life. If you are covered, you will not make you will not have breakthrough. You will struggle and you struggle in vain. Nobody will help you. You will be like a desolate ground if you have if you're experiencing cobwebs. And also for people that have strange dreams. You close your eyes. Once you close your eyes, you used to used to have strange and scary dreams dreams you cannot even explain most times you try to explain that dream but it's not nothing is working it is so dangerous for you to have these dreams because your life is at stake you sleep some people are pursuing you you sleep you find yourself in an old abandoned building you sleep you find yourself doing some silly things or the other you have sex in the dream this whole thing is caused by unwholesomeness so if you experience such difficulties in life you need a sort of bath cleansing 
You need to purify yourself. You need to take out negativity from your life. You need to take out blockage from your life. Some people, their destiny is blocked. Nobody can help them. People have tried to help them, but it's not working. People have tried to extend helping hands on them, but they cannot help you because you have a covering in your life. Once that coverage is removed, you see that you start getting fevers. I know a lot of people that have done salt bath and they've experienced tremendous blessings. They've experienced tremendous breakthrough. Life is beautiful and easy for them. So quickly, we're going to look at 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 19 to 22. Where Elisha purified the water of people of Israel and removed pain, removed debt, removed shame with salt. So, so that you, you have an understanding of what you're doing. You cannot be doing a salt bath and you don't have an understanding of it. You need to have an understanding of it so that you know what exactly you are doing. So that you will know how to address your situation when doing the bath. So quickly, let us go to the book of 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 19. And it says, Now the men of the city said to Elisha, Behold, the situation of this city is pleasant, but is pleasant as the Lord sees, but the water is bad and the land is unfruitful. Their water is bad. Their water is filled with pain. Whenever they drink the water from the well, they become sick. Whenever they drink the water from the, the well, they die. Whenever they drink the water from the well, they experience one pain or the other. So, they said again, and the land is unfruitful. And he said, Elisha said to them, bring a new bowel and put salt in it. So, they brought a new bowel to him. And, when, and he went to the spring. Elisha went to the spring because he knew that all of them drink from that water. So that contamination is from that water. So I don't know where your own contamination came from. That is why I said you use that water and have a bath. Do a cleansing so as to remove any contamination that you've had in your life. Any contamination that you have come across, you need to cleanse yourself totally from it. You need to cleanse yourself totally from it. So, and it says again. So, Elisha went to the spring and he said, Elisha told them, bring me a bowel. And they brought, it, they brought him a new bowel and a salt. So he brought, they brought it to him and he went to the spring and threw the salt in it and said, Thus says the Lord, I have made this water wholesome. I have made this water wholesome. Henceforth, neither death, miscarriage, nor pain shall come from me. So you'll be making this prayer. Lord, make me wholesome. As I engage in this sword bath, make me wholesome. Not death, not pain, not shame, not disgrace shall come to my life. I want to experience the full goodness of God. I want to experience breakthrough like never before. I want to experience success like never before. I want to experience goodness, all round goodness like never before. Just like Elisha purified the water, so shall you be purifying yourself. That is when I, <coughs> excuse me, that is why I recommend salt bath cleansing. You need to cleanse yourself totally, entirely, so that those things that troubles you, those rising and falling, those rejection, you go to a place, you're rejected, it is an error. You do things that people do and you're rejected, it is an error. Other submit proposal, you submit proposal for contract, you are rejected, it is an error. People are favored every day, but you go, you are not favored. It is an error. Nobody wants to associate with you. Everybody hates you. Everybody talk evil about you and talk down on you. It is an error. 
You need the blessings of God. You need the breakthrough of God. You need the blessings of God. You need the breakthrough of God. So today, I will tell you how to do an effective bath. There are two ways to do an effective bath. You can either decide to do it once a month. Once a month, you will do an effective bath. Before, in my last video, I said you can do for three days. But right now, it is no longer three days. Because I know that, I noticed that people have different issues. There are different issues that need to be settled. So three days is not enough. So you would be doing this bath for seven days. You will be doing this bath for seven days. If you can do once a month, better for you. But if you're doing once a month, do it on a weekend. On a weekend. But if you are doing seven days at a stretch, do it every day and at night before you sleep. Do not do a salt bath in the morning. No, you will do a salt bath at night before you sleep. Before you sleep, you do a salt bath cleansing. Then you lie down and wake up in the middle of the night to do a midnight prayer because anybody i tell to do a a salt bath cleansing i add midnight prayer to it so that as you're cleansing yourself you will have some attacks you will have some spiritual attacks so that you can be able to fight them do not sleep wake up in the middle of the night and wage war against those evil spirits wage war against those things that trouble your soul so, how to do an effective salt bath? Get a bowl of water, a bucket. Please, you can buy a new bucket for this if you want. Get a bucket of water. Fill it with water. Please, I am begging you, do not use a black bucket. Don't use a black bucket. You can use any other color, but do not use a black bucket. Get a bucket, fill it with water, put a salt. This is my salt. You can put two spoons. Since it's filled with water, you can put two tablespoons, two tablespoons of salt in it. Since you filled the water, get a big bucket, fill it with water, put two tablespoons. But if you're using a small bucket, just put one spoon. Then inside the water, you will be making some declarations. First of all, you will ask God to forgive you. You'll be saying a prayer of forgiveness. Psalm 51. For all have sinned and gone short of your glory. You cannot start this bath without confessing your sins to God. Ask him to forgive you. Ask him to step into your life. Ask him to pardon you. Then when you're done... Put your hand, your middle finger, into that water. I have talked about the power of the middle finger. Put it into that your salt water. And pray with Psalm 35. Psalm 35 says, Content, O Lord, with those who content with me. Anything that has brought those rejection to you, be it by man, be it by woman, be it a foundational problem, let God content with them. Anything that is fighting against your peace, fighting against your life, fighting against your progress, let God content with them. Anyone that said you will not succeed, anyone that has projected sickness in your life, anyone that has projected failure in your life, anyone that has projected destruction in your life, let God arise and fight against them. So you are going to be saying this after doing this prayer. Then you come into the bathroom. You may be in the bathroom and say the prayer. No problem. Just come inside. Remove your footwear. Don't wear your footwear when doing a salt bath cleansing. If you are on low cuts, if, you know, if you're not wearing braids like I am, please start pouring the water from your head. But if you are wearing braids, if you are wearing braids, start from your face and pour your water. As you are pouring that water, declare what you want. 
what you want God to take away? What do you want to take away? What have you been feeling? Is it from your mother's side? Let God remove it. Is it from your father's side? Let God remove it. Is it a generational curse? Let God remove it. Is it the curse that you brought upon yourself? Let God remove it. Whatever it is that has troubled you, whatever it is that has been a pain in your life, whatever it is that has been bringing shame in your life let god remove it as you're pouring that water be taking deliverance i deliver myself from every pain from every shame i am tired of disgrace i am tired of failing i am tired of promise and fail i am tired of disappointment i am tired of rejection i take it out in the name of jesus i take it out in the name of jesus i take it out in the name of Jesus, as you're pouring that water, be speaking deliverance. Every cause speaking against me, every cause speaking against my life, speaking against my finances, I remove it in the name of Jesus. As you're pouring that water, be declaring it, be removing those things, be washing your face. For people that experience rejection, wash your face. For people that experience delay, wash your face these things take away delay it takes away the rejection it takes away promise and fail for people that experience bad luck it takes away bad luck from you completely so you will take away bad luck anything that makes your life unwholesome Anything that makes your life rejected, anything that makes them to question God in your life, let it be removed. When you're done saying that prayer, please, you come out from the bathroom. Go into your room. Do not dry your body. Remember, we are doing this salt bath without sponge, without soap. You must have taken your normal bath. Don't use sponge. Don't use soap. Just take your normal bath. First of all, before you do the salt bath cleansing. So when you're done with the salt bath cleansing, go into your room or your closet, anywhere you can pray. Don't dry your body, please. Don't dry your body. Let the air dry your body. If you if there's no winter, if you live in a in, in a place that has a very good um temperature, you can open your windows. Let the air blow into you. As that air is blowing into you, please read Psalm 23 for me. Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. It is a prayer of blessing and restoration. So you'll be saying Psalm 23 with courageous and with faith. Let God restore all things for you. Everything, let it be restored. Everything, let it be restored. Everything, let it be restored. When you're done saying Psalm 23, start saying, you see, all the blessings you want to see. All the things you want to see in your life. Every prayer of miracle you want, start saying them. Call those good things. You want a husband, call them. You want children, call them. You want restoration, call them. You want financial breakthrough, call them. Be calling them unto yourself. And speak favor in your life. Speak favor in your life. Speak blessings in your life. Speak breakthroughs in your life. Speak all the good things of life in your life. And God will help you. He is God and he is faithful. He will come through 100% for you. So say these things with faith. When you are done saying it with faith, you can lie down and sleep. Then you wake up in the middle of the night. Remember, you will be doing this thing with midnight prayer. Because I want a total result. I want you to get 100% results. So you'll be doing it with midnight prayer. Wake up in the middle of the night and speak in tongues if you can. And call forth the heavens if you can. And call forth breakthrough for your life if you can. Anything you want, call it false. Start speaking the good things you want in your life. In the name of Jesus. And also, the next thing to do also, you try as much as possible. You try as much as possible to always say the same prayer for, of favor to yourself. Bless yourself every day. Bless yourself every minute. Bless yourself every hour. God will come through for you earnestly. This prayer works 100% effective. Or rather, it is 100% effective. Do it 
and tell me how it went so i just came to summarize it because a lot of people ask a lot of questions concerning this salt bath i came to summarize it for you all to see or for you all to watch share this video to people help someone people are going through a lot life is difficult for some people right now help someone help someone to pray help someone share it out so that people can be a blessing so that people can partake in this blessing and be blessed too and for the ladies if you are on your period please do not do it you need to be clean if you want to do a soul bath so if you are on your menstrual period please do not do it okay and why doing cleansing abstain from anything called sin if you want an effective result abstain from sin entirely and keep your hands clean and god will come through 100 percent for you thank you all so much for watching do not forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed do not forget to be a part of this praying community do not forget to be a part of us may god bless you may god protect you may god cause his light to shine upon you in jesus name thank you so much for watching thank you for being here do not forget to share this video give this video a thumbs up and also share your testimonies with me because i am waiting for your testimonies i believe god will come through for you and i am so confident about it and i await for your blessings thank you all for being a part of this may god bless you may god guide you may he cause his light to shine upon you have an amazing day stay blessed and stay confident god bless you and i love you so much bye bye